Today we got a great video. This is about the Deadpool insert set called Sport Ball. In 2019, Upper Deck came out with a Deadpool trading card set. And in there, they had some spoof cards or knockoffs of other cards that were made by Fleer and Upper Deck through the years. So today we're going to take a look at those cards. We're going to see what they did for Sport Ball and how cool some of these cards were. And I think this is one of the neatest sets that's come out recently. So let's check it out. First up, we have 1984 Fleer. This is Jay Johnstone wearing his iconic Budweiser sunshade hat. Deadpool mimics him wearing his Deadpool logo sun visor hat. So this is the first one, 1984 Fleer. This card from Jay Johnson was worth about five or 10 cents, but now because they've done this, it's worth a little more. Next up, we got 1986 Fleer, Mickey Hatcher with the giant glove. This was just a little thing that Mickey was playing around with before the game, and Deadpool had to uh, make this card as well here. So you can see, even the backgrounds are the same. Next up, Barry Bonds rookie card, 1987 Fleer. Deadpool here with a nice pinstriped hat, just like Barry Bonds. And he's got his taco or enchilada, chimichanga shirt, whichever kind of Mexican food Deadpool likes. But this uh, is a really cool card here as well. The next card is 1988 Fleer, sticking with baseball. We got Tim Flannery, another card that was pretty obscure, 10, 12 cents. And now this card can sell for a dollar to three dollars. I'm showing you here what it shows on the surfboards. Uh, this is a kind of a unique card again. Next up, this is an infamous card. Billy Ripken, 1989 Fleer. Known as the Rick face card because of what he wrote on the bottom of the bat. But you might want to read up, see what it really says. We're going to show you here in a second what Deadpool put on the back of his bat or on the knob of his bat. It says Sport Ball logo up on the top instead of the team name. There it is. That's what it says on his bat instead of anything inappropriate. Now we're getting to some upper deck cards. We're still going with baseball here. And this is 1989 upper deck Mark McGuire. Nice little, uh, almost like a sunset looking photo looking up at Mark McGuire. He was a giant back in the day. And Deadpool is actually looking more ripped than McGuire is here. So maybe he's on the roids as well. The next card, actually, I had to go out and get a reprint of, of Dale Murphy. Because this Dale Murphy card is actually fairly valuable. It is the reverse negative version of this card. So you can see his Braves is backwards on his jersey. This was a very popular card and very expensive. So I had to get the reprint to make this one. This next one, Nolan Ryan, 1989 Upper Deck again. We're sticking with the 1989 Upper Deck cards. Really cool three times image here. Deadpool, he's a pitcher in this one. I didn't realize he played all the positions. All right, we're sticking with the Steroid Brothers here, the Bash Brothers. Jose Canseco, when he played with the Texas Rangers. L what I love about this card, the best thing about this card, is that Deadpool has the mullet just like Jose does. Now, Deadpool's weight is actually a little small. Maybe Canseco is a little stronger than Deadpool is here on this cool collector's choice card. We're switching to basketball now. Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. Another three times image. Didn't know that Deadpool was a multi-sport athlete, but he can dunk too. Has sport ball up at the top on his. Shaquille O'Neal has the number one draft pick that year. He was bigger than life, and Deadpool is too. We're going to hockey now. Upper Deck Hockey, Yermer Yaga rookie. This is a picture from probably when he signed his rookie contract. It was drafted number one overall. And uh, he's there, probably the commissioner of the league. Deadpool, I'm not positive who this other superhero is. I probably should have looked it up first. Tell me down in the comments who it is that he's shaking his hand. And uh, again, I like in this one that Deadpool is wearing a hockey sweater in this one. Sticking with hockey, this might be my favorite of all of them. Back in the day, Pavel Bure was very popular. This one on the beach where he's rollerblading definitely tells you about the time. Didn't know that Deadpool could roller skate, play hockey, all while in his full Marvel gear. That's it. That's the set. I'm going to show you the backs of what these cards look like as well. These cards here in this picture aren't in order. I think they're in number order rather than the order that I showed them through. But you can see what the back of the cards look like on each one. And I'm also going to show you the back of all the baseball cards as well. You can see both Fleer and Upper Deck cards for all those players. So let me know down in the comments which one of these cards was your favorite. Again, for me, I think it was the Pavel Bure. Let me know. 
give the video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you like kind of fun content like this. I appreciate you all for watching. See you next time.